What? What are you saying? <laughs> What's he saying? He says, most of the time he's winning and then arrows on he's so... <laughs> you know, a good chance Amir Khan fights Mayweather. I, 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 that's a good one. I don't mind. I think he's, I think he's going to do something. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you better believe it, Carral. Well, stay out of the hospital. Stay away from the hospital. Do you ever see uh, Lupe Aquino anywhere? Not really. I've seen him in a few shows, but that's about it. I think he lives in Vegas now. Or Bakersfield. Bakersfield? He lives in Bakersfield. Oh, wow. yeah. You used to live in Santa Barbara, right? Yeah, he's from Santa Paula. Santa Paula. Santa Paula. But yeah, I, I, I think he lives in Bakersfield. Lupe Aquino, that could be in Bakersfield. I'm sure. I think he does. I think he he does. was a champion from out here, right? Yeah. For what, like 97? 95? Right? Yeah, and then the 90s, yeah. Late, no, early 90s, late 80s probably. I think so. Late 80s. Bro. Yeah, see? Yeah, late 80s. He looks a little like Brian Vera in the face. Because he was, he was at the time where, where, you know, if he didn't get in that car accident when he went to jail and all that, they was talk about him fighting the Landers, the Giraffes, the Hagglers, yeah. Thomas Brown Harris, all those fights. It was he was in touch to fight out to fight out against all those guys. So Robert, what is it? Did HBO contact you to do more shows? No. Do you uh, talk to them afterwards? No, I'm, I already signed another country with somebody else. Really? BKB. What's that? BKB. One. What's it? Two. Bare knuckle boxing. Three. Are you gonna do it? Yeah, I already already signed the contract. Is Gordo gonna fight there? I don't know if Gordo's gonna fight, but Bellos guys have fight already. Bellos has December. Fight? That's my first show too. That's my first show. BKB. Bear, it's hard to listen if you hit the back bare knuckle it hurts and you could break a knuckle BKB. How do you hit a person in the bone and yeah, but it's a gloves, you know, they have gloves like, like MMA style? Yeah, they have gloves. So they're gonna pay you to do commentary? That's huge yeah. Yeah. We're on the contract. They're gonna do this show December and then sh six shows next year six Trevor, shows. How did training change from what you trained to today? Well, you know nowadays a lot of a lot of fighters most of the fighters they hire, you know, the, the conditioning coach, the diet, this, this, that. Back in the day, it was just training hard. You know, we, would, we wouldn't we would know exactly what to eat, but we would try to eat healthy. You know what I mean? It's like, if we had somebody cooking for us, it'd be not because we know what our body needs or, or what nutrients, what vitamins. It was just what we thought. Right now, and nowadays, it's like, you know, they have doctors who's checking, you know, you need to have more vitamin of this, more of this, you have to eat less of this, less of that. Nowadays, that's the way it is, you know, and, uh, and then there's more also, protein, less carbs. And most of them higher, you know, the conditioning coach, the nutritionist, we don't, we never did that. Back in the days, no But boxing-wise, punching the bag, doing mitts, sparring. Same shit, yeah. That, that, that won't and, and see, and, and now, nowadays that, all the, all the fighters hire so many people, you know, to be involved. Most of the fighters get, get tired in the late rounds. Before when, you know, I'm not saying because of me or anything, because, you know, it was, I'm not before, like, like the Durans, the, the Salvador Sanchez, the, you know, those type of fighters, they used to fight 15 rounds. And they used to fight 15 rounds with mouth shut. You know, they, even the they were in shape and never had a, they never had a conditioning coach. They would always train their ass off, sleep good, rest good. Run a lot. They would train, rest, eat. And that was all they did for two months, three months before fight. Eat good, rest good, and train hard. Out of today's fighters that you have, who are, who are the three that train the hardest? The tra they, they all train hard, man. They all train hard, but, but I could probably tell you, you know, the one that, like, if, if you want to combine everything together, not not just about training hard, because Brandon trains very hard. You know, Brandon does 12, 15 runs sparring every day if I, if, if I let him. So that's training hard. But if you talk about dedication, I, I, th I think the Russian is probably the one with the most... Uh, the, the, the most dedicated one, the Russian, because he basically, dedication is not only about being in, in training and, and eating good, you know, it's also about the sacrifice it takes leaving his, his, his country of Russia. In Siberia, it's even colder. His, new, his, his, baby, his baby was born, he only seen him for, he was there for two days when the baby was born, and then came back to the United States for six months. 
you know, so so he basically see this baby being born and two days later he had to leave him for six months. You know, that's that sacrifice right there. So I think the Russians probably won, you know, and then he comes here and all he does is run in the morning, eat, rest, train, eat and rest. That's what he does. That's